Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog, and uh, this is this is the current setup. I'm sitting on a beach chair, and this is how I'm editing the last vlog. Oh no. Guys, this is what I was worried about. No. We apparently are having some crazy storms. And I don't like that, because our cat is outside. So, I'm really hoping my dad gets like some kind of message. Because I don't... I don't know what's going to happen to our cat if she's stuck in the middle of like some crazy thunderstorm. Like that's really, like, I don't know. Oh my god. Why? Why does it have to storm? Why? So a nice couple from my dad's work just brought some furniture in. I have no idea why we need two couches, but we have two couches now. And a recliner. Oh god. Oh god, it's already raining. Six. Oh my god, look at it. We um apparently have permission to go to the barn and look for our cat, but now it's storming like crazy. You stupid weather! Here we go. Hopefully we find her. Mm. Book spray. Very needed here. Hmm. Here are bugs. Uh, where is she? Psst, psst. Oh god, I hear bugs. Psst, psst. Psst, psst. I don't see her. Well, what the heck is that thing? Psst, psst. What is this? I don't see her. See her. God, this is like an uh, explore, exploration video. God, I don't see her anywhere. I don't. I don't. I'm look under the chair. I looked everywhere. Blackie. Blackie. Oh, there's one cat. That's not ours. Keep tapping on it. Yum, yum. Do it more. Yum, yum. So we've been told that the cat is usually hiding under this barn or shed, whatever it's called. So we're gonna open some food up. Maybe she'll come out, hopefully. Well guys, we were there for about an hour and a half. No luck. But at least we have permission to look for her now. Mm-hmm. I mean, she could be all the way in there. Do you want to try coming back here with long pants? And just That's go through tonight. the woods? I, I never said tonight. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah, we will. When did I say the word tonight? I don't know. Look at that cloud. That looks so weird. That looks so bizarre. Look at that. Look at that. That looks just so unrealistic. Why is there meat? Ew. That one's green, that's red, and that's, I don't, that's like dark red. It's like a rainbow. Ow. <laughs> well, this is my now, this is now my new setup. We got this new table from Walmart. I also got some McDonald's fries, because I don't really have an appetite, so. This is literally the only thing I'm eating today, because I just don't have an appetite. Yeah, so it's currently the next day, um, and I just want to mention, these aren't usually how I, I structure my vlogs, usually my vlogs are only in one day, and recently it's been, like, over the course of four days. That's why my vlogs have been a little longer, um, and that's why, and that's what I also wanted to know, um, for the new people on this channel, would, do you prefer longer videos or shorter videos? Now, before all this happened, I used to do 7 to like 15 minute long vlogs, and if you want my videos to be shorter, if you prefer shorter videos, that also, that doesn't mean there will be more videos. But would you prefer like 28 minute long vlogs, would you pref 
prefer 40 minute long vlogs. I can do those, but I'll have the same amount of videos. Plus if my videos are longer, I can get more watch time and then once we're at 4,000 hours of watch time, I can put ads on these videos. Yay, money. Anyways, look at my, look at my epic setup. This is currently what's going on right now. Dad is currently at work. Um, he's back to working uh, 40 hours a week now. So my dad is stopping off, stopping by the farm to look for the cat. I've thought about this and unless he gets the cat in the pet carrier, I'm also curious as to how we would get her in here. I mean, if he has to carry her all the way around the building and then unlock the door, I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen. I feel like it's, I feel like it's gonna be almost impossible to get her. I don't know how we're gonna get her. I don't know if we're gonna be lucky. I don't know if he's gonna end up coming home with her. I have no idea. I, what I've learned is anything can happen. Nothing's impossible. That's what I've learned. You know, the fact that our apartment bur building burned down and we became homeless for almost a month changes your mindset. Nothing is impossible. Literally anything can happen. So, don't expect to know what's gonna happen. Any news? Nothing? Why are you wearing a, a tight shirt? It's an extra large, but it doesn't seem that way. Why is it ripped at the front? I don't know. Well guys, apparently, our modem is causing problems for the area. Apparently there's something wrong with the wiring in this wall or something. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, that's annoying. Well, we're at the farmhouse still looking for a cat. Still no sign of her. No idea where she could be. I feel like she's deep in the woods somewhere. What is all those sticks sticking out? Like pipe. That wasn't there before. No. Is that for them to do? I never saw that. Did it fall more? I'm wondering. I don't remember those pipes sticking out. These are taller than the. I see a bin over there. They look like sewer pipes. Looks a little different, doesn't it? Look at this disaster. Look at this absolute disaster. Yeah, like the, the wall looks warped right there. Or did it always look like that? I don't know. Oh man, look at this. Now it's just history. It's literally a part of history. It's weird to think people lived here just 27 days ago. Or actually it was 28. Oh my god. What? Final determination of financial eligibility. What does that mean? I don't know. Hi guys, so it's actually another day. And um, and today we're going back to the farmhouse again to look for our cat. Maybe someone already took our cat in. I don't know. She could be deep in the woods. Like, I feel, I feel like I just, I feel like there's just an endless list of possibilities where our cat could be right now. And hopefully she's okay and healthy and alive. But technically speaking, she has to be somewhere. You know, she didn't just vanish in thin air. But technically speaking, the government admitted that aliens exist, so... I don't know, that could be a possibility. <laughs> we are really, really hoping we get our cat. Because, you know, uh, we've ne I've never really lost a pet. Um, I'm 18, 
and 11 of my 18 years, we had our cat. So, it's not like we had multiple pets. 60, I think 60% of my life, we've, I've had that cat. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm sorry if I, I couldn't get you guys all the information about this because so many things happened off camera that I couldn't, that I, I, I couldn't explain because there's just, there's so much has been going on. Like we've been going back and forth thinking that the lady that took care of our cat is this like evil person that took our cat for herself. Maybe she's hiding it in her house. Maybe she sold it to someone in another state. Then we're talking to other people that say, no, she probably wouldn't do that. But then we hear that she told the grandmom of the guy who took our cat to the lady that when we were there, our cat was scratching us. And if that lady is lying, that proves something fishy is going on. So it's like, I, I can't even describe it. It's just so, all everything is just all over the place and we just don't know what's going on. Like I said, there's like an endless list of possibilities where our cat could be. I have no idea. She could be in the middle of the woods. She could be still on the property. She could be, she could be mad at us, but I don't know. She could be mad because, you know, I feel like Maybe that's why she's not coming out when she hears our voices. She's mad at us. Why did she's probably confused why we put her there, dragged her out of the apartment, why we left her there for three and a half weeks. I mean, I know cats don't know um, time, but she's probably you know confused. Maybe that's why she's not coming out because she's mad at us. Maybe, but then the food hasn't been eaten. So I don't know, maybe someone has taken her in. I just don't know. Usually when people lose their pets, they know what happened to their pets. Usually they know they ran away or they died. But we have zero clue what the heck happened to our cat. And that's like the most annoying part, I think. You know, there's just so many possibilities. And it's like, usually when people lose their pets, they know what happened. And we just like have zero idea on where our cat could possibly be. Also, I want to do a Q&A about Ashwood. I already posted this on Twitter. I already did a community post on my YouTube channel. Just go to the community post tab. And I have a post there you can ask questions on. Go on Twitter, write hashtag Ashwood Jeff and Cats. And you can ask about what our lives were in Ashwood and after Ashwood and before Ashwood and you can also ask other questions that don't even relate to Ashwood. So yeah, go please do that. I really want to do a QA. and a um, I've never done a Q&A before but since I have all these new viewers it's I want to give you guys a chance to ask me a question. Um, so please do that. Any news? No. No? Did you go through the woods? I tried to send a text in go through. What was it? You could just tell me. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. Show me. Why do you gotta show me the text messages when you can just tell me? What? 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 What do you? Blackie. Do you think you saw her? Pretty no. Girls. So why are you showing me this? I was out. I was in the woods. Come on, Blackie. Come on, babies. Come on. Is this all? Baby, where are you? So you didn't see girls. a sign of her? No. Did she eat the food yesterday? It was gone. It was gone? I don't know if she ate it or not. Hmm. Well, at least that is a sign that something's there. Yeah. And the owner wasn't back yet. I mean, I feel like I feel like she could be mad at you. Yeah, no. I feel like because you dragged her out of the apartment, and then you dragged her out of the car. She lost three claws mm -hmm. from that, and then she's put there for three weeks. No idea why. So she's probably. I feel like she could be mad at us, and it's like why would why would she come out when 
you could just take her and put her somewhere, you know? I know. I'm scared of that too. Why don't I hate that fucking bitch? Why? Why? She's got at least She's like, oh yeah, you can pick up the cat tomorrow. <laughs> and then it got out. Should I come over? Should I come over? Nothing. So I go over there. They're not looking for the cat. They're sitting. They're fat asses in fucking chairs, sitting around laughing, g giggling. Yeah. Well, what about the flyers? Oh, you said she's she not home yet. Are we gonna go back there? I don't know. I'm dropping off the table and chairs in an hour or so. Wow, it looks very, very. Oh my god. Oh, this guy looks very, very scary right now. The camera doesn't do justice. Let me turn the darkness. This, this is what it looks like. Whoa. Yeah, yeah guys, this is our view. Um, a very nice road filled with cars. God, look at that down there. It looks like an ocean. Yeah, it does. Oh, flashed. Whoa. That's like shaking the ground. I've never heard thunder like that. What? Three people said keep checking Ashwood apartments for the cat. I don't think the cat would go that far. I do. Why? One lady said her cat went 10 miles to get back home. Was it 11 years old? It was, I forget how old it was. But it was not a youngster. Yeah, but our cat's different. She's not... She's never been outside. I don't think she would go that far. And maybe I don't think she would want to. I feel like she's mad at us or something and doesn't want to come out. Look look at that. Look how dark it is down there. God, look how bright it is there and then boom. You're left behind it. Whoa, that those clouds are going really fast. Yeah, they're not spinning. What would be the very, very first sign of a tornado? Drastic temperature change in hail. Hail? Yeah, and extremely high winds. Oh, none of those. Wow. I've never seen the sky look like this when there's a thunderstorm. That looks very, very weird. Yeah, here comes rain. Maybe we should uh, <laughs> be under that thing right there. Poor cat. Hopefully she's... Hopefully someone has her right now. Oh. 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 oh my god, look at that rain. Man, I haven't seen a storm like this in a while. I feel really bad for the cat if she's out there. Pizza. Got some frozen pizza here. It's pretty thin, but oh well. Currently going to the farmhouse again to see if our cat is around. <laughs> Apparently the food has been eaten. Right? Yeah. Um, hopefully may maybe she wanted to take shelter and went into the barn with all this all these storms, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? I have no idea. And you think she might be trying to go back to Ashwood? Yeah, it's natural cat instinct. It's nothing to do with the cat's personality, it's her instinct. But couldn't she sense that we're not going to be there? No. I don't know. She's 11. I feel like she wouldn't... All cats do it. It's her instinct. Here we go again. Blackie! Pretty girl girls. Blackie, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Did you come in out of the rain? Pretty girls. Girls. Ugh. What a place. Is she anywhere? No. Three girl girls. <sighs> ah, man. Blackie. You think she's by the shed? No. Blackie. Three girls. Three girls. I thought maybe she'd come in here because of the rain, but... Three girls! Oh, I don't even know where the light is. Oh my god, it's cobwebs in here. How yeah. could they live here? I know. God, look at this place. There's a fan in there. I don't know, a windmill, some paintings. 
it's like exploring an abandoned place. A quick update, we now have a lamp, another lamp, and most important, a, uh, wait, where, where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Microwave. We now have a microwave. So, is this the first time you've done laundry in this place? Yes, it is. Alright, well, I guess I'll show you guys what the laundry room looks like. So this is the royal entrance to the laundry room. Yep. Need a key to get in? Yeah. Uh oh. What? Oh, she's on the floor. Your what? I bet she's on the floor. So? Oh, there's a step there. I should have been 35 minutes and this goes out quicker again. Hmm. Well, where does this hallway go to? Keeps going around. To where? Interesting. But then what is this door? I want to know. I'm just like asking if people don't want to have any of the screens. Wait, they do it here? Do they? The screens are dirty, look. Oh. I thought you were saying that they do clean them here. No, they don't. Oh. And what's in here? Can I open this one? Oh, there you go. Uh -huh. I want to know what is behind these doors. <laughs> Do you want to tell them the uh, idea you had? Yeah, we're going to use bleach to try and lure the cat out. Yeah, because... Um, she loves the smell of it. It doesn't all cats do, or is it just ours specifically? I'm not sure. I just know ours does. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Hopefully, you hopefully Wait, did you feed her today? Uh, I Should we go back there? No. Why not? As sure as it is. Like okay, I so said, that's gonna do it for the taste for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, the bleach idea works. Cause this entire time, I feel like the way we get our cat is gonna be something so stupid. And I don't know. I'm I'm really hoping we get our cat. I find it f kind of funny that we even have to try using bleach and even though it, like I'm gonna be very happy if it works but I'm also gonna laugh at the fact that we had to use bleach to get our cat <laughs> oh my god but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed um, there's apparently an Ashwood Apartments picnic on Sunday so I'll be vlogging that that'll be like the next video um, if I end up vlogging it. Um, so, I'm trying my best to upload as much as I can because, you know, I am a vlogger. I've been vlogging for five years, so I'm used to this. I'm used to doing stuff like this. I'm used to vlogging my life. It's just, before this, I wasn't able to grow my channel. So, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you liked the video. Um, Go on Twitter, do hashtag Ashwood Jeff and Cats and ask any kind of question about Ashwood or just me. Um, and uh, that'll be a cool Q&A video, I guess, if I get enough questions. So please ask some questions. I feel like I need at least 10 to make a full video. I have like three, co uh, three questions right now and two of them aren't actual questions. So please question me. Um, but yeah, so... Make sure to subscribe if you're brand new, subscribe to my gaming channel, I'll be posting stuff on there. Um, when Master of Aardvarks comes here and builds me a computer, because apparently that's happening, pretty, pretty epic guy. So yeah, um, see you guys later. Bye.